Hello and welcome to the first video in the Google Shopping training series. I'm super excited to get started with this training and I can't wait to help turn you into a Google Shopping Ads expert. In today's video, we will be creating the three accounts that are absolutely necessary for success in all of your Google Shopping campaigns, as well as ensuring you have the proper application on your Shopify store if you're still using Shopify. This training is going to be focused on Shopify store owners. However, you can adapt this to whatever platform you want as the only steps that really change are setting up your product feed and conversion events. Before we get started with the training series, I wanted to remind everyone to subscribe to the channel. I put out a video every single day to build your knowledge in advertising, marketing, Shopify, and dropshipping. I do this absolutely free of charge. I also host a live call every single Thursday night for the Facebook group where I give away a one hour consulting call. By subscribing, you're helping this channel reach more people and build out the revenue required to keep producing these videos for you. Thank you so much for clicking through. I hope you enjoy the video. To get started, you'll need to create three different Google accounts, Ads, Analytics, and Merchant Center. There will be a link for all three inside of the description of this video. We'll start by creating your Google Ads account. Navigate to the Google Ads account landing page and click Start Now. You'll be prompted to sign into your Google account. Once signed in, you'll be greeted with the Guided Setup option. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a link that says Go to Expert Creation. Once there, there's another link above the continue button that says create an account without a campaign. Click this to create your account and we're done. Next, we need to create our Google Analytics account. If you have already set up Google Analytics, you can skip this step. From the landing page, click on the start measuring button. Give your new account a name. I typically just put my site name here. I leave all the options selected. Google's gonna get my data one way or another. I don't really fight this. What do we want to measure? Web, put the website name and address into these forms. Select your industry. If you're in e-commerce, which you probably are if you found me, use shopping. Click create and you're done with creating the account. We will need to install Google Analytics code for this on our website, which we'll do in the next video. The last account we need to create is our Merchant Center account. This is where we store our product data to be delivered in the Google Ads network. Navigate to the Merchant Center landing page and click Get Started. Put your business information in, agree to the terms, and you're all set. Merchant Center is quick and easy. Lastly, go to your Shopify admin panel and select Apps on the left-hand side. Open the App Store and install the Google Shopping app from Google. Yes, it has poor reviews. Don't worry, it's not a bad app. It just has bad setup instructions. I will help you set everything up in the next video. Install the Google Shopping app, which at the time of this video has 3.7 stars for reviews. Now we have set up all of our accounts and are ready to start building up our shopping empire. I don't want you to get too excited because there's a lot more work that will go into this. Before I end the video, I want to discuss why Google Shopping. Google Shopping is a pay per click platform. Unlike Facebook where you pay when you deliver an ad, regardless of what a consumer does with your ad. This pay for performance platform gives you a significant advantage in that it allows you to pay for high intent consumers who found your product while browsing the shopping section of Google and saw your price before they click through. The two biggest barriers, price and intent, are overcome using Google Shopping and you're left with a lead who is ready to purchase right now. In tomorrow's video, we're going to be connecting your accounts, installing all the code so you can track everything efficiently, and importing your products to the Merchant Center. If this video was useful in any way, please give it a like and subscribe for more daily training videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.